Welcome back guys to another video here on National Vlogs. Um, sorry my hair's a mess. As you know, it's been a heat wave here in the UK recently and I am literally, I'm covered in sweat right now and I've got all my windows open. But today we had the Alton Tower Scarefest lineup officially announced. Now this is brilliant that the park have done this. So first off, this year we've got two brand new attractions yeah this year which are both outdoor attractions so i'm intrigued to find out how it goes so let's talk about the first one uh which is freak show uh toxic junkyard uh if you didn't know freak show used to be a scare zone a few years back and this year they brought it back as a sort of outdoor maze uh and this is the description freak show toxic junkyard promises to get hot Pulse is racing as it joins the award-winning lineup of live-action scare mazes. An outdoor maze that will invite the foolhardy to venture into the freak show hidden den and discover the secret of the psycho clown's next big show. Now, this is something quite interesting. Obviously, location-wise, uh, we do believe it's going to be located... Uh, if you remember a few years ago, they had a maze called Carnival Screams, which used to exit uh, out of like an arcade place down on X Sector. It, uh, Freak Show um, Toxic Junkyard is actually located. There's literally like a huge amount of like shipping containers there at the moment. Uh, these shipping containers are actually from subspecies, so they're currently used in those, but we'll be talking about subspecies in a minute. Uh, so that's the first one. The second one is Garden Lights Walk Whispering Souls. Where guests will which will give guests the opportunity to enjoy the Alton Towers gardens as never before and witness them come to life in a new spectacular light. Now this is free entry, that attraction. We don't know if uh, Freak Show Toxic Junkyard will be. But I I can't wait to see how these attractions go down. Now, surprisingly, we've got some mazes from the past returning, which are indoor mazes, which I am really glad about, and I'm going to be talking about these next. So the first maze that is returning for 2020 is Darkest Depths. Now, this is an award-winning maze. It was new for last year, and it won a couple of like, Scarecon awards. Um, I think mainly for its like, set and theming and stuff. It's returning. Now, we don't know whether it's going to be located in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard in um, in the containers or not. We don't know. If anything, personally, I'd like them to use uh, the stage. Well, I say that. They took the stage down. So it's a shame they can't use it. Like, they took the stage down that used to be in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. But I've got a feeling... If they've taken that out, they might be able to expand a little bit of space. We don't know what's happening with Darkest Depths, but at least we know it's returning. Another maze that is also returning this year is Terror of the Towers, the Attic, or the Attic Terror of the Towers. This, obviously, was one of the newer mazes for 2019. Um, obviously, located in the Towers, it was one of three mazes located in the towers which the fact that they had three mazes in that building is mad um but here's a description for uh, the attic terror of the towers around here people talk of the governess how she's haunted by the death of her young charges and how she wants revenge and how she'll take it by seizing spirits of the living in retribution they say her ghost haunts the attic that's where you're headed there you risk your immortal soul now, I heard some really good things about the attic last year, and I do believe it won an award, I think, as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's back for a second year. Obviously, they were actually testing like, the smoke and stuff a few weeks back. So, at least we're getting an indoor maze, and the queue line is starting to be set up as well. And then the final maze inside the towers, that is returning. So, you've got two out of three from last year returning. And the final one returning is Altonville Mind Tours Legend of the Skin Snatchers. Uh, the description is as follows. 
The skin snatchers, we call them, outcast their whole family. Rumours are they lived in the old mine. It's deep and dark, and the damp inside gives you the proper shivers. Just recently, some fool reopened it for tours. Be careful, they say. Those skin snatchers have a secret too. Horrifying for words. Beauty's only skin deep. Remember that. So, obviously, you've got Attic Terror of the Towers and Altonville Mine Tours, both returning from the Towers uh, building this year. Of course, you've also got the Alton Towers Dungeon coming back. I sort of predicted this months ago that it would probably come back. Sadly, that does mean we've lost two mazes this year. The first is, of course, Subspecies. The end games. To be honest, this is a maze a lot of people weren't. To be honest, I don't think subspecies would have been able to work considering the circumstances the resort is under this year. I just don't think subspecies is gonna was gonna work in the first place. Uh, which is a shame. Obviously it's been there from 2015 till 2019, so it was there for like four or five years. And it, it was about time it needed to go. Apparently last year was at its strongest for the first time in a few years. Uh, and the other maze, which isn't coming back this year, is one I'm really shocked about slightly. What is it I hear you ask? It's Project 42. Now Project 42 debuted in 2018 and it was located in the Nemesis Subterra building. Now, that means, clearly, this year, that the sub Terra building is not going to get used. Obviously, they did slightly convert it to accommodate the maze. It'll be interesting to see, maybe Project 42 and Subspecies might come back in 2021. Maybe, after the pandemic. You never know. We might get a bigger lineup. Um, I'm going to be honest. Considering now we've had this official confirmation... For Molten Towers that they're going to do indoor mazes. I'm intrigued to see if we'll see an announcement soon from Fort Park Resort and Chessington World of Adventures. Obviously the lineup for Fort Park Fright Nights still hasn't been announced. So uh, we're expecting Fort to say something next. Because they are now actually recruiting uh, scare actors. Um... Which is going to be interesting. And thing is with Chessington. We haven't heard anything from them this year yet. But I'm going to be totally honest. I have said this. I I, I don't think we're going to get creepy caves. In any form. At Chessington this year. But who knows. We'll know nearer to the time. Anyway guys. Comment below what you thought. Sorry about the lighting. I'm literally filming this as, it get, as it's getting dark. But guys. Like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see me dye my hair blue, then I'll be doing it at 400 subscribers. But you need to subscribe. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.